Yes, good morning. It's the day after the game before and the dust has settled. Um, lots and lots of very reactionary posts that I'm seeing. Um, and I wanted to give you my take this morning on 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 yesterday, just on Tottenham in, in general. And, um, and then we'll get to some comments and we'll have a chat. And look, for me, I, I don't think it's as... I don't think it's this big drama that I think a lot of people are making out. Yes, we lost the game. Um, but but the thing is why I don't think it's probably as big a drama as many people might do is I, I didn't get carried away. And I know a lot of people uh, will say that, see, this is an I told you so. It's not. I just didn't get carried away. And I think the reason I didn't get carried away is because what we're seeing now is kind of what we thought surely it might be at the beginning of the season, right? We thought it was going to be a year of ups, a year of downs, a year of trying to implement a style where some of the players will be able to play it really well. Some of the players won't. Some will be able to learn it. Some won't. Some will be moved on. Some won't. But we we, we knew this was going to be a year of um, settling in. If I suppose, if if I can put it in a different way, we knew this was going to be a year of of some some kind of controversial performances. We've had games where we've battered teams like Newcastle, like Burnley, um, games where we've played really well, especially like the second half against Arsenal, for example, uh, the second half against Man United. But then we've had games where we've looked really poor, and I think. We kind of said that at the beginning of the season. I think most sensible people said that this was going to be the case, right? I think lots of people said that this was going to be the case. So I don't think it's it's this big drama. I do feel that Spurs are probably where they should be. Fifth, possibly getting fourth, is probably where this football club should be at the moment. And one of the key things that I've tried to maintain all season is that, yes, people can want to talk about um, title challenges. People can want to talk about competing with City, with Liverpool. People can talk about this great eleven that they believe we've got, but it doesn't happen overnight. And before we get to that stage, we've got a lot of work to do. Now we might not get to that stage. We might get to that stage, but there's a lot of work to do. And I just think that what we're seeing the last month or so, whilst we've not been losing too many games, I think what we have started to see is um, is a somewhat more true representation of what we are as a football club. And I think that the first 10 games of the season, whilst it was great, whilst it, it got a lot of people kind of going overboard about how good we were, I do think that it actually gave people a lot of false hope. And that's fine. That that false hope is fine. But I think if you actually scratched beneath what was happening at that time, you could see that, this was a good bit of form and not the norm. That's going to be my saying from now on. It was a good bit of form, but it wasn't the norm. And what I mean by that is teams have good patches. We've seen Bournemouth do it this year. Bournemouth had an eight or nine game spell where they didn't lose. Didn't they win like six and drew three or something? But that's not their norm. That was really, really good form. And now you're starting to see the real Bournemouth win one, lose one, draw one, right? Happens to a lot of teams. Newcastle had a great patch, right? Um, you know, Chelsea have had good moments in the season. Man United are now in good form. The difference between the form and the difference between the Cities and the Liverpools and the Arsenals of this world is that those teams consistently do it. They're consistent. Not as much Arsenal, but it's definitely last season and this season, they're consistently putting teams away. They're consistently winning games. We've been very up and, up and down. So for me... I don't think there's a drama. I really don't. I don't think there's this big drama. I think that what we're seeing is a lot of players that were probably massively overrated. Massively, massively overrated. Look, we've got some very good footballers at this club. We've got some very good footballers at this club. We've also got some that, let's be realistic, if you want to get better, will need to be moved on. What I do think we need to stop doing is molly coddling. I don't know where that came Yeah, we need to stop. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, we need to stop molly coddling. Um, some of the players that aren't good enough. And I think as a fan base for too long, I think in the main, we do that quite a lot. We did it with Lamella for years and years. We did it with Dyer. We've done it with Davis. We're doing it with Royale. Uh, we do it, we've done it with Sessegnon, Ndombele, Lo Celso, 
Sissoko, Winks, Skip. We, too many people that say, oh, no, they're good and they do this. And let's be fair, those players don't play for the better teams for a reason. There's a reason why Liverpool and City don't sign players like Brennan Johnson. There's a reason why they don't sign players like the Moussa Sissokos of this world and the Emerson Royals of this world. So for me, I don't think there's a drama. I don't. I think I think if, if you actually look from where we, we said we were going to be at the beginning of the season, we've actually, we're doing okay. I don't, I don't subscribe to the people that say that we're overachieving. I, I don't think we're overachieving anything. I think we're fifth. United, uh, 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 you know, have got a chance to go three points behind us today. So fifth stroke, sixth stroke, fourth is is probably um, uh, about right. I don't, I don't think that there's a drama. But what we can't have is, I've seen it in the last couple of days that people are saying, "Oh, we're overachieving." Now, first of all, I don't think anyone sitting in fifth place is overachieving. Um, but secondly, you can't have the people that have gone from. Um, They've gone from we're winning the league, we're in a title race to we're overachieving in fifth. It, it doesn't work. You can't you can't believe both of those two things were true. So for me, I, I've I've got no issue with 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 where we are at the moment. There's there, listen, th do I think there's a lot that needs to be done? Um, yes, there's a lot to be done. Do I think that the football is as good as other people think it is? No, I don't. Um, I keep seeing people saying, oh, but you wanted attacking football. This is what you've got. I don't think what we're seeing right now is actually attacking football. I'm seeing what, what, we're, what we're seeing now is a lot of possession-based football, um, but not really going anywhere. It's a lot of needless possession for me. Um, there's a huge difference between that and attacking football. But listen, let's have a look. Let's see who's in the house, shall we? Let's say hello to a few people. But on, honestly, I, I've watched a lot of content in the last... Um, what in the last 15 16 hours or so and i do i do think you know it is it's not this mellow drama that everyone thinks it is because we lost one game we're going to lose games of football but what i do think it has made people start to realize now is you know some of the players aren't as good as we think and the manager is going to need a lot of time too many people that just came into chat saying this is what Ange does Ange wins titles Ange this Ange that it's like well give him Give him time. This is not, no no offence, but this isn't the Scottish League. He's not going into Celtic with the biggest budget and, and being able to buy the better players in that league. He's now at Tottenham. He's now at Tottenham where you've got hurdles to overcome. You've got Arsenal. You've got Liverpool. You've got City. You've got Villa there as well. Man United, Newcastle. You've got hurdles to overcome. So that's why when I think people are going overboard, I like Ange. I think Ange is a good manager. I think he's got a lot to learn. I think he's got a lot to learn, a lot to adapt. Same as most managers, right? Um, that's not just on Ange. So I just think a bit of, um, as as I always say, it's not there. It's not there. It, it, it's kind of in there. It's kind of in there. Uh, let's see who we've got in the house. I won't be able to get to every comment. We've got a lot of people um, on your way in. Please do smash that like button. It really does help. We've got 234 people and only 48 likes. So please smash that button. Um, Costa del Spurs, I said, I'm calling him Coggy from now on. Ange, I'm making me cringe. Um, Tony Rodriguez said, we got Sava. I think yesterday was Ange's tactics. He didn't use what he had properly. Didn't start the right players and then proceeded to invert Emerson and Davis, even though they can't. A lot of people getting frustrated about his decision to play both of them. Uh, I, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Bill, I said, good morning, mate. You're the only Spurs YouTuber I subscribe to now. Sick of the Dreamland stuff. You're the only Levy outer on here that doesn't go in that stadium. I can't understand these. Pictures. Yeah, I just, I, I've always said I won't go back in the stadium while Daniel Levy's there. But hey, that's me. Uh, BVB David has said, big up, big up to you. Good morning to Nige, who said, still angry with yesterday's performance. It's becoming a trend. Poor first half, improving the second half, but so open all the time. I think that is one of the key things we need to address, um, Nige. It is, isn't it? The first half of games at the moment does very much seem to be that they're not motivated. Then they go in, get a rollicking from Ange, and then they come out in the first five, ten minutes, we're good. Then we drop off again and, and other teams just, just have chance after chance. Um, it's becoming a bit predictable, is what I would say. But it's going to be. It's going to be that until you get quality players. You've got to have quality players to play this style of football. Um Big, oh, thank you, Paul. That's very kind of you to say. Thank you very much. Um, much appreciated. Um, Spurs Forever has said, pick up Sava. Hope 
all is well. All is well with me. Had a lovely sleep last night. Uh, feeling fresh today. Said all top teams get counterattacked on. But what's most annoying me is the real lack of creativity in games. Bar the Kulu cross for Davis, there was nothing else. Listen, I agree with you. Teams, especially teams that play a high line, will get counted on. But then the difference is a lot of people don't give the ball away as much as Tottenham do. This is the difference. You watch City get counter-attacked. Counter of course they do. But they've got that pace and that control to counter that. Um, um, get the fraud Arteta out my club. I said, I don't get why you've got a new centre-back if you're never going to play and give him time to experience in the Premier League. Listen, I, I, I don't understand it. Um, I did see his reasoning yesterday. He was saying that um, he, he came from another league. Um, but... Um, and, and, and sorry, he came from the other league where he played a different style of football. But for me, I think you've got to be giving him game time. I think you've got to be getting him game time. Um, sorry, bear with me one second. One second. One second. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry about that. Sorry. Um, uh, uh, Spurs Forever said the Ange quotes of I'm not a miracle worker were very Jose Conte like. What he came out of yesterday was really strange. He was talking about being at clubs for two to three years maximum and then moving on. I just felt that it was really weird timing. Let me know in, in the chat what you what you made of that. Do, uh, is anyone reading anything into those comments? Let me know. Uh, big up, Alan, for the raid. Big up, Time Added On. Hope you're well, Alan Clark. Get over there. Subscribe to Time Added On. Alan's a top guy. Hope you're well, my friend. Um, Lee D has said, morning, Sava. Disappointing result. He's still got a lot of work to do, and you were right. This is just the beginning. We've had some good results. Wait till the summer signing certain players have to go. Uh, listen, I, I agreed, and, and Lee, I, look, this is why I didn't – I know people were saying I wasn't enjoying the ride, whatever that meant, but because you could see what was going to come. You could see what was going to come. Um, quality players are quality consistently. When you're not quality, you will have patches of good form and bad form. So, yeah, listen, there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot, a lot of work to be done. I think if anyone thought any differently, I just think, you know, it, it, it's a bit crazy for me. Um, a video complete, Sofiane, I said, I don't get why Levy didn't replace Harry Kane. What was he thinking? Well, look, I guess the question you've got to ask is, you know, uh, to be fair to him, Daniel Levy gave him money in the summer. And that money was spent on, on, if you look at all the forwards that Posta Coglu has bought in, he's bought in five forwards. If we're looking at Werner, Brennan Johnson, Kulusevsky, Solomon and Valise, he's bought in five forward players. So I, I don't know you can put that on, on Levy, my friend. I don't know. Like, you know, everyone said, everyone was saying that this is Angie's first choice was Brennan Johnson. Um, so that was where a bulk of that money went, right? So, I don't know. Um, Peter says, Sava, would you agree that Ange Boy is far too open? I think it's ridiculously wide open. It's not brave. When people say it's brave, it's not brave. It's There's a difference between being brave with the ball and being stupid. And for me, we're just way too open. I think we need to drop five to ten yards. I think, you know, it, it's suicidal football at times. And I thought, to be fair to them, Wolves played an absolute blinder in negating it. Um, absolute blinder. Um, I think it's too easy to blame Royale and Davis for yesterday uh, because we played just as bad against Brighton, but scraped to win when we had a Dogi and Porro. You know, we've had a Dogi and Porro in games like Everton where we didn't play well. So I don't think it's that simple. Um, uh, Baldwin said, you still think... Um, uh, they're still favourites. Yes, I'd still put them as favourites. One one draw at home to Chelsea doesn't change my mind on that. I do. Uh, but back to Spurs. Um, Shane O'Neill, good morning to you, my friend. I said, why do we have a tendency at this club to buy so many players that only show up for 40% of games? Is it the players we buy or a mentality thing that creeps in around the club and allowed to manifest? That's a great question, Shane. Um, look, I, I go back to, for me... Um, I go back to top players show up more often than not. Yeah. If you buy average players or players that are good, but not great, you will get them showing up for 40, 50, 60%.
And then there'll be 40, 50, 60 percent the other way where they don't show up. And that's that's just natural. That's why we go back to it. Look at City. Look at Liverpool. These guys week in, week out are relentless because they've got better players. They've got quality throughout their team. You look at Liverpool yesterday. Liverpool yesterday, you know, Curtis, um, Curtis Jones comes off injured straight away. What is it? Did Graven back went on? You know, like for like. Um, I'm not saying like for like in terms of the exact same player, but quality player for quality player. You know, Darwin Nunes came off, so they bought on Gakpo. Um, Yotta came off, so they bought on um, uh, da -da -da, whoever they bought on for Yotta, uh, Mo Salah. It's top players all over the park, and we just haven't got that. And and and, and until you get that, we're, we're gonna struggle. We're gonna struggle. Um, Simon Yet has said hi, Sava, and just learning at the highest level of football in the world. Listen, listen. I think this is the key thing. Um, I think you know this is year one, isn't it? This is year one. I think if we're similar to this next year, this time, then I would worry. But you know, he's got a lot to sort out. He'll be learning on the job. He'll be knowing right now what he needs to do in the summer. The question for me, as always, is what will this board do to back this manager in the summer? Are we going to go and get the next level of players? Or are we going to keep buying kids, pretending that they're all generational and going to be the best players in the world? Or are we going to keep buying average footballers that our fans then want to back to the hill? I, I don't know. Um... Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, fans support the club. Shock, we're doing our part. The leadership of the club needs to do their part. I refuse to tell other fans how to support the club. Listen, I'm not, Phil, I hope that's not aimed at me. I'm not telling anyone how to support the club. Everyone's entitled to support the club the way that they want, the way I am, the way you are, the way absolutely everybody is. I hope that wasn't a, a little dig at me there, old Phil P. Well, I have to, I have to give you a phone call and have a stern word with you. Hope you're well, brother. Hope you're well. Um, uh, Bill said he wants the Liverpool job. I can bet my mortgage Liverpool don't want him. Um, Rafa Austin has said, why do promising players go to Tottenham and turn out terrible? Who? Can you give me some names and we can talk about it? Give, give me some examples, Rafa, and we can talk about that. Uh, good morning to Liston Hines, who has said, we obviously don't have the movement nor the passing speed to unlock these low box. Box? Blocks, sorry. If we commit so many players in attack, we can't keep losing the ball so incredibly easy. I, I think that's absolutely spot on. Nail nail on the head for me there, Liston Hines. Nail on the head. Uh, the nail on the head as well is only 78 likes. 78 likes um, and 294 of you in the house. So we've got less than a third of likes. Please do smash that button. Um, uh, Simon has said the rides was great and now we are running out of fuel. Um Look, I, I just think it was always going to happen. I, the, the concerning thing for me was everyone just kept saying, not everyone, I, I use that word too much. Many people kept saying, once Benton call, Van der Ven, Romero, Madison, once they're all back, we just win all the games and we go on another 10, 11, 12 game winning streak. And I never believed that in my heart. I never believed that. And I said that. Um, I just don't think these players are as good as everyone thinks. And Look, hey, it is what it is. Uh, Sax, Saxman has said, Sava, this game exposed the weaknesses in our team and some of our tactics. Wolves was always going to be a hit or miss game. Our squad is clearly not good enough at this stage. Work in progress. Yeah, we are. We are a work in progress. But for me, with that, the, the progress can't be, for me, Timo Werner's. The progress can't be Brennan Johnson's, Valise's. It's, you know, Solomon's, the, the work in progress needs to be, every player that comes in needs to be better than what we've already got. Or on the same level as the Romero's, the Van der Ven's, the Madison's. We need, we can't keep adding players that are down here that just fill out a squad. You've got to add quality. Uh, big up to you. Thank you. Red Smoke. Uh, Aqua Subs, big up to you. Good morning. I said Conte's win record at Spurs, 53%. And his record so far, 53%. People need to understand he's not a magician. He's not a messiah. He's not your cuddly favourite uncle. I completely agree with you, Akasubs. I completely agree. Listen, I like Ange. He's a good manager, but there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. And let's see if he can do it. Because as we said, this isn't Celtic. No offence. This isn't the Scottish League. Um, uh, uh, why are you shook of Premzy? I haven't streamed with Premzy for a long time. 
don't know what this is all about. Oh, 709, it's a good day, Sabah. The team let us all down yesterday. Yeah, it looks it wasn't a good performance. It wasn't. Um, it, it just it is what it is at this stage, right? Um Kulu was on loan, but Ange signed off signing him permanently. He didn't have to. Um, and I'm not saying he shouldn't have. I'm not saying he should have. I'm just saying. I was just saying the players that he's bought in those forward areas. Um, Terry M. I said, morning, Sav. I love the show. Good morning to you, Terry. Thank you very much. So they haven't had the same players on the field since the Chelsea game. Need time to get the combinations back. Sure, but Terry, that's, that's in an ideal world, you have the same 11 every week. But... Liverpool managed to rotate week in, week out. Man City rotate players. Arsenal rotate players. You, you know, it, this isn't an ideal world where we play week in, week out with the same 11. It's just not how top teams do it. But I, I do hear you. I do hear you. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. That would be much uh, appreciated just to help the channel grow a tiny bit. Don't worry. We don't want world domination. We're not going full time or anything. Um, and you've probably seen I'm doing a little bit less now, but I want to do... Less, but with a bit more quality and a bit more to talk about. Uh, Lee Enigma has said, at Football Heritage TV, I can't even get mad anymore. Big up to you, Lee. We're a mid-table, overachieving team with this group of players. Fans are getting angry because we're now slipping to the level we deserve. Yeah, listen, I, I suppose it depends. Um, I've always said this. The fans that were talking about winning titles and title charges... They're the ones for me that are getting a bit angrier because I think that their expectation was unrealistic. Um, I think, listen, Lee, you've seen me enough to know that I don't really go there. I don't go there. I don't think we're terrible. I don't think we're great. I think we're a good team that are in work in progress. Um, so for me, um, I'm not I'm not mad at it. It, it is what it is. We, we've lost one game in about, oh God, what have we done? Lost one game in five, six. Um, it's not terrible. But I just think people had... Um, this notion that every time we play a team, we're going to batter them. And we very rarely do. Um, and that's because you have to have quality to do it, right? Um, um, Liston has said, our press doesn't work either. Our players are there, but are easily beat by a simple feint or a quick pass. We need quicker feet and quicker brains. Yeah, Liston, it goes back to what you've heard me say this every day. It goes back down to quality. It's the Q word. I keep saying it, the Q word. The Q word, right? Quality is everything. You can have the most motivational manager in the world. You can have the best stadium. You can have the best training ground. You can have the best diet. If you don't have that quality, you simply won't compete with the best. It is that simple at top level sport. You will get one off examples like with Leicester City. But in the main, the team with the most quality will come out on top. The teams with the most quality will be the ones fighting for the title, i.e. Liverpool or City. Arsenal as well now, unfortunately. Um, Bill has said, I've never, I'll never tell fans that's what the club, but YouTubers who have a go at fans, yet go in that stadium every week, need to practice what they pe preach. Leave you out. Yeah, right. Listen, I, I, as I, I, I'm, I'm not here to tell anybody what to do, when to go, whatever. I, I just, I, I, only, I can only control me, right? I, I don't go out of principle. I used to go all the time. I don't go out of principle. Um, for me, I think what they charge is is scandalous for the level of quality that they buy. Um, and for me, I just think that Levy, listen, Levy built what he's built on purpose, right? Let 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 let's have it what it is. Um, but by the way, I'm not blaming yesterday on Daniel Levy. Yesterday wasn't on that. For me, I think the manager got it very wrong, and the players weren't good enough. Mm. Uh, TJ, big up to you, my friend, has said someone once said of Spurs players, they don't want to play under pressure. Um, well, listen, I, I just think, yeah, there is, there has been some of that, definitely. This team doesn't give up. I'll give them that. But again, I just don't think there's enough quality. Uh, James Cottrell, good morning to you. Has said some Spurs fans need to expect, uh, accept, sorry, not expect, accept we are not an attractive prospect for top players. We were never going to replace Kane like for like. James, I completely agree with you, but would you agree with me on this? You've got Kane and you've got Brennan Johnson. What about something in here? It doesn't have to be this level or that level. There are many players in between that level for me. Um, we said this, you, you can't replace Harry Kane. Who do you replace Harry Kane with? But what you can do is at least go and buy a proper ready-made striker that scores goals, right? You can at least go and get a centre forward, not a young, quick winger that's not good enough. But uh, I know, Phil, I know. Much love, brother. I hope you're well. I hope you and the family are well. Um, 
uh, video complete, Sofiana said, I would rather play Will Lankshire up front over Richarlison. Now, um, the, the Richarlison thing is interesting because I think what we're seeing is when he doesn't score a tap in, I know he scored a couple of good goals against Everton, but when he's not scoring, I think you really do see the limitations of Richarlison as a footballer. And again, um, he epitomises what I was just talking about in terms of when I said teams have good form or it's the norm. Same with Richarlison. Richarlison was in good form, but that's not the norm. All of this, he's going to score every week and he's this, he's not good enough. The ball breaks down on him. The link up drops on him. He falls over a lot. He goes to ground a lot. For me, you've got to have better. That's just me. Uh, Jay Erding, good morning to you. I said, morning, Savran Chat. I mean, when Angela works, it works. But what annoys me is it takes grown men to get to half time to do the thing we've been shouting at for 45 minutes. Yeah, Jay, I, I, I think a few people have mentioned that now, right? That it's, it's, it's slowly creeping in that the first half of games, um, we don't really look up for it. Um, you know, it, it, it seems to be a bit of a theme, doesn't it? Then we come out the second half and you can tell they've had the hairdryer treatment. But look, for, for me, I think more than anything, I, I think this whole kind of Ange ball thing, I, I don't really know what it is that gets people so excited. For me, it's a lot of possession, which is great. Sure. But without really an attacking threat, without anything that really scares teams. Um, um, Lee has said, I noticed yesterday, we don't take nowhere near enough shots from outside the box. Yeah, that is very, very true. We try and walk it in the net. For me, I want to see more pop shots from Madison, from Bentoncourt, from Basuma, from Saar, from, from all of them. I want to see more shots. I agree with you. Uh, Maranata has said, I know your opinion on the title race, but can you put it in percentage for three teams? Oh my gosh. I'm not off the top of my head. I would say City, uh, 50%, Liverpool, 40%, Arsenal, 10% is what I would go with. I still think City will win the league. Um, uh, uh, Rinketic, yeah, I mean, listen, I think with certain players, you've got to play to their strengths, right? So, for example, when we bought Soldado, anyone that watched Spanish football, um, anyone that watched Spanish football will tell you that Soldado played with a big man up front, stayed in the box, got flick-ons um, and, 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 and scored. He was, he was, he was your 18-yard box player. Spurs playing, you start asking him to run the channels, hold the ball up. It's not his game. He was an out-and-out -out striker that plays with a big guy. But... If you don't play to that, it's the same when Chelsea bought Shevchenko. They're, they're, they're making Shevchenko play up top on his own, running the channels. That was never his game in Italy. So, listen, I, I, I hear you. But TJ, sorry, I'm, I, I can't get to every comment. I do apologise. I'm trying to get to as many as possible. I said, we're one of the richest clubs in the world, yet we scrabble around for bargains and hopeful prospects. It's actually embarrassing. Um, look, I, 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 you know, I don't mind... A prospect every now and then, but I do think that that, that a lot of the signings you made in the last two windows we could have done better. But that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Um, Peter said, "If we don't get European football at all, I can see Levy pulling the plug." Well, look, let's let's have a look, Peter, because um, let's let's share this screen. Uh, here's the table. I can't see us. Hang on, let's change that one second. Let's just see if. Let's have a look at that. OK, so um, for us to not get Europe, I mean, it's a big swing to West Ham and Brighton. It's a big swing. I can't see us not getting any Europe at all. I suppose it depends on what European football people are talking about. Um, there's, you know, there's a big swing. So Spurs on 47 points there. Um, the swing to West Ham, who are currently the team missing out on Europe, is 11 points. So they'd have to win four more games than we do with 13 games to go. I just can't see it. Now, that, that gap could go down to nine points if Brighton win their game in hand. But that's still a big swing, isn't it? It's still a big, big swing of three games. Um, and equally, that's the same with us now and to the, to the top of the table. So for me, I think we're kind of sitting where we should be. Um, but let me know what you think. Maybe we will think differently. And fair play to Wolves who had a bit of a rocky start to the season, but now are only two points off a European place. So this looks very interesting to see who's going to get that last European spot. Um, Lee, I said, why did I get a bad feeling when Poro and Adogi didn't start? 
This clearly shows me we need our best 11 out to do well. Oh, my God, such a clear out is needed. And Werner should go after loan. And Rich Allison, I, I, I agree with all of you. For me, I, told, I never wanted Werner. I don't understand anyone that said all of this, no risk. But I, I, I think the risk is that you could have had someone better. The risk is that we could have done some proper business and bought better than Timo Werner. Um, Nolan, I said, Dragusin needs to be in the starting 11. He is a no-nonsense player. Ange doesn't agree. Uh, I agree with you. Hands for some reason is not doing it. Uh, big up to the Mittenmeister. Uh, I said, if you could only sign one player to improve, who? Oh, only one. I think we need a lot. I think we need a lot. I want to see, oh, only one. See, I think we need a number six. I think we need a player who gets on the ball in the midfield and controls games. And I think we need a, a winger badly. Um, I'll go with a winger. I think we need a proper winger that can play, that can beat a man. I think we, I don't rate a single one of our wingers for me. So for me, a winger, the Mittermeister. Um, let me throw it back to you. Who would you, uh, what position would you improve and why? Let me know. People in the chat, let's have that as a talking point. Thank you for the super chat. Let's use this as the basis for a, for a conversation. Who would you have as your one position to replace if you could? Um, Noel uh, said, do you think Spurs will finish above Villa? Um, I don't know. It's 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 right. Last week we were there. They were here. This week it's that way round. I've got a feeling you might see that for the rest of the season. Um, I think Villa, what they are is I think they're a more solid team than we are. I think they've got, I don't believe they're as gung-ho as we are. I think that they've got a little bit more solidity into their midfield. I think they've got more men in their midfield that are solid, that fight, that battle. Um, and I don't think they're as wide open as we are. But that, listen, I, I don't know. I'm not saying we can't finish above them. But I do think that what we're seeing now is, unfortunately, Arsenal have gone and joined City and Liverpool to be in that pack. And then I think you're seeing Villa and Tottenham and Man United in the second little block a bit further down. Obviously, Man United win today at Luton. They have them three points behind Tottenham. Now, for as bad as everyone has said um, Ten Hag has done, they'd be three points behind Tottenham with 13 games to go. Now, yes, we've got a better goal difference, but three points isn't a lot at all, is it? Big up, Nige, who has said the front three needs massive improvement. Amen. Uh, that's where I'd be spending most of my summer budget. Uh, listen, a massive improvement. For me, I think we need three or four. Uh, for me, I, I know it won't happen because we just bought most of these. But for me, Richarlison, Werner, Johnson, um, uh, for me, not good enough. They can all go and you get three more forwards in. You get a top centre mid in, another fullback that can cover both areas. See, someone like a Liveramento that can play right back and left back. That would have been a good signing. Um, Lewis said, good morning, Sava. Good morning to you, Lewis. Do you think Anne's been found out and needs a plan B? Um, look, I, I, Anne's plan is brilliant if you've got brilliant players. That's the way I see it. Yeah, this style of football is great if you've got the players that can execute the plan. We don't. We have a lot of players that we really do. Like, I see people talking about Papa Sar. Papa Sar's a good player, but for me, he's not really the ball-playing midfielder. Yeah, neither is Basuma. So, you know, you, you've got good players who do good jobs, but this type of football requires complete domination and not giving the ball away. Those players give the ball away far too easily. Um, um, Alfie has said, will we ever have a Tim Sherwood again or Redknapp again? who isn't afraid to use youth players. Um, listen, I watched a really good bit about this on Tottenham Away last night. Actually, they were talking about the youth players. And it's difficult because uh, Stell made a really good point last night. said, you know, you've got Papa Saar being bought at 18 years of age. A doggy, I think, was officially signed at the age of 19 or 20. Van der Ven, 22. Valise was 18. Ashley Phillips was 18. You've got the young, is it Croatian kid? Check. Croatian kid, he's 16. You've got um, uh, you've got Jude uh, Sunsot Bell was bought as a 17-year-old. We are buying all these youngsters. Yeah, uh, Bergval, we're buying all these youngsters. Tells you that they don't rate our youth enough. If we're having to go and buy all these youngsters, then it tells you that they don't rate our youth enough. 
But what chance does that give the youngsters coming through? I'm not sure. I really don't know the answer. Um, James has said, of course, as you've said, the board, Levy, aren't interested in top quality. It's all about prospects who may turn out to be worth something. Unfortunately, it does appear to be that way. But look, when you go and get someone like a James Madison, that's the level I'm talking about. I don't think James Madison's world class, but I do think he's a very good footballer. For me, we seem to buy that player in other positions, but we won't do it up front. Since Sun, who did we last buy of any real quality in the attacking third? Um, uh, uh, John has said, but Dragu and the young lad chose us over Bayern and Barcelona. I'm guessing we, well, I'm guessing we promised them more minutes. I'm guessing a team like Bayern and Barca don't promise minutes. Uh, you know, hey, that's just me. Um, uh, Gooney Topol has said, as a rival, I think Tottenham fans need to calm down. It's Angie's first season, Spurs and the Premier League. Give him two seasons. But if he refuses to come up with a plan B next season, then he is a fraud. Listen, I think I think said this all year, Gooney. That people got a little bit carried away. I understand it, though, Gooney. Spurs fans got carried away because we've had years and years of nothing to look forward to. We've had years and years of failure. So I get it. But unfortunately, it is what it is. Alfie has said, give me Europa League over Champions League, I think. Said it even when we were first. We aren't good enough to compete in the Champions League. Interesting. Um, Vindaloo has said, Sava, is Angie's game management questionable for you? Um, yes. I think lots of managers have questionable in-game management. Um Look, I, I, I do feel that in certain games, he hasn't really had a lot that he could do anything with. But now that he's got his players back, I do feel that, I don't know, I felt yesterday he brought on three players with five minutes to go. It just felt all a bit too little, too late for me. But hey, um, it is it is what it is. All managers are the same, right? All managers, if you lose, you question their decisions. If they win, they're a genius. And that's how it is. Um um, Stackrow, big up to you, my friend. It's a 72% possession with more than double the amount of passes as Wolves and still losing. It's pretty bad. I, listen, I think the key thing I will, I'll say about this is possession is brilliant if you do something with it, right? For me, we seem to have a lot of pointless possession, rolling it across the back, a lot of slow, slow, slow build-up play that allows the other team to get back into their shape. Um, but Again, better quality, play, better quality players move the ball better. That's just natural. So for me, it's all about the quality of the players. It's not for me. I don't think football is rocket science. I know people want to look deep into tactics and stats. I don't think it's rocket science. The more quality players you have, the more chance you've got of winning games. Um, I think it's that simple, isn't it? Um, good morning, Tigara. How you doing, my friend? Hope you are well. So not a great result today, but patience will be required. As we all said, completely agree with you, Taikaro. Completely, completely. Hopefully, you know, mate, I've been saying this. Look, look, let's not get too carried away. Let's not get too disheartened. I think we are sitting where we probably thought we should be, Taikaro. Would you agree with that? I don't think it's the end of the world at all. But um, I just think, I think, I think some people just went a bit over the top. That's all it was. Um, Adam has said Spurs will win more games than they lose playing the way they do. But it becomes easy for opposition teams to game plan against as Ange only plays one way. Listen, a good point, Adam. This is the thing. We will win more games because we've got more quality than most teams, for sure. What you will find, though, is those tactically astute managers will work out how to pick us off. Now, there's a huge difference between working out how to pick us off and having the quality to pick us off. Yeah, I thought Wolves yesterday showed that quality to pick us off. They knew what they were doing. I thought Gomez in midfield was excellent. I thought Pedro Neto was excellent. Um, Sarabia, I thought, had a good game as well. They they knew how to execute it. Now, some teams won't have that quality. Bournemouth played really well against us, didn't quite have the quality to finish us off. Yeah, for ex just, just by the way of example. Same with Brentford. I thought they were good against us. Didn't quite have the quality to finish us off. But some teams, when they've got the quality, will work out how to pick us off. Um, um, James has said a big swing yes but this is Spurs and we have a habit of making it easy for that type of swing to happen we've got Liverpool, Arsenal and City one after the other not winning any of those look James the only reason I say it's a big swing because let's just say for example we need to lose four and they need to win four more than us so for example if we're talking about um, West Ham right 
Um, which is a West Ham team that haven't won in their last six Premier League games. West Ham, um, if Spurs won seven of their last 13, seven, right? So I'm just going just over half. Then West Ham need to win 10 or a 10 or 11 of their last 13. I, I, I just can't see it happening, mate. We're going to get Europe. I just think it matters. It's just, it's wh which Europe are we going to get? We're going to get Europe. Yeah, we're, we're, we're too good not to get Europe, Europe I hope. Um, Scott has said, who does Dragasin replace? Listen, I, I don't think it's about replacing. I think it's about rotating. For me, I think now we've had a few games where we look really poor defensively. Surely the point of bringing in these players is that you put them in and say, right, go on, show me what you can do. Go on, prove to me why why we bought you. Um, that's, you know, that's what you're saying. Look at Liverpool. Liverpool can change their back two whenever they want. City can, you know, uh, I think we need to be able to. Good morning to just a girl who loves Spurs. Good morning, Kate. How are you doing, love? I hope you are well. Um, I hope everything is good in your world. And say hello to Jim for me as well. Kate, good morning to you. As a Sava, I think we need a quality striker. And yes, I, I think we need, look, we, we know we do. I think we need a lot of quality to come in. I don't think this is a, if we solve one position, we're great. I think we need a lot. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we're working towards it. Hopefully, we're working towards it. Tigaro has become a new member. I thought you were a member, but hey, maybe it's just renewing. But big up to you, Tigaro. Always very generous in the chat and has been supporting me for a long time. So big up to you. Um, so I'm trying to get to um, some people are saying, okay, so this was when we asked about what position um, Aqua subs has said Vlaovic. Yeah. I mean, listen, will Spurs, I mean, I mean, I'll ask this question. If Spurs went for Vlaovic, would we be at the top of his, uh, at the top of his list? Who else would go for Vlaovic? Cause I think he'd have a lot of suitors because there's not many, top strikers in world football. Let me know your thoughts. I, I'd love Vlaovic, by the way. I'd love to move heaven and earth to get a player like that up front. Um, Stack Rowe has said, we need a few positions, but mainly, uh, but maybe a right winger mainly. Uh, <laughs> Mbappe, yeah, yeah. We'll get Mbappe on the left. Um, uh, BBB David has said, Aston Villa will be fourth with Emery and their squad. It, they could well be. It's going to, listen, I think Spurs and Villa um, are very similar. For me, Spurs and Villa are very, very similar football teams to me. Good teams, but don't quite have that next level of quality to compete. Would that be fair? I think both good clubs, both good good squads, but not, not the level of the other two, three. Um, Spurs forever, I said a winger, Neto or Rafinha, um, a 1v1 specialist. And I'd get Noosa as well, along with Neto and Rafinha. So pace, skill. Yeah, I agree with you. Terry has said, Sava, defending set pieces is awful. This game is important because teams will play the low block. Players will learn. Look, it's, um, yeah, it's definitely something we need to work on. For me, I think the back four needs to get better at set piece defending as well. I really do. Um, not saying the rest of the players don't, but I think I think Romero and Van der Ven for me need to be stronger and more dominant in the air. Um Proud to be a Geordie has said, need the English teams to go far in Europe and hope the fifth spot goes to the Champions League. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not bothered. If we don't get Champions League, we don't get it, right? Um, if we don't get it, we're not ready. And that's fine. We go again next year. Um, what I don't want to do is go into the Champions League and be embarrassed. Um, and I just don't know whether we're going to buy enough quality to really... Uh, give it a go. Not, I'm not saying to win it, but to properly give it a go. By the way, there's 375 of you in here and 127 likes. Come on, people. That should be surely sitting a minimum of 200, which would just be under 50%. Come on, people. Let's, as Richard Pugh would say, let's have a like party. Um, if anyone does want to put in a super chat, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but for me, the likes are more important. Um, uh, Adam has said, if you don't rate the wingers, would it make more sense to have a back three, play Poro and Adogi as wingbacks? I don't know. Be interesting, wouldn't it? Dragosin, Romero, Van de Ven. Dragosin to the right, Van de Ven to the left, Romero in the middle, Poro right wing, Adogi left wing, um, a, a midfield two, Madison behind Sun and another up front. I don't know. Be, be interesting to see it. Um, big up, Angeball. Hope you're well, my friend. D and B forever said a solid number six to stop us being so open. Completely agree. Definitely, definitely. Um, 
definitely need quality in, in that number six position. We, I don't think we've got an out-and-out out defensive midfielder that, that can cope with the counter-attacks that we have. Mario, good morning to you, my friend. Mario, 2020-12, has said eight wins from 13 remaining secures fourth. It should do. It should do. It's up to us to go and do it, right? 13 games left now. Um, and we need to find... We need to find some wins. We need to find some wins. Palace at home to start that all off. Got to be beating Palace. No excuses. There can be no excuses. Um, if we look at Crystal Palace at the moment, um, and they've lost four of their last six games, they've got a minus 16 goal difference, and they've only scored 27 goals, which is the fourth lowest in the league. So, you know, you've got to be beating Crystal Palace at home. Um Super Fox has said, we are nowhere near efficient enough on the ball. It takes too long to switch play, zero movement. Yeah, I, th I think, again, it comes down to the quality. Quality players move the ball quicker. They're more efficient. I think you've got to get quality. The Q word is everything for me. Um, video Complete said, I'd keep Werner. Mm, each to their own, not for me at all. Nowhere near good enough. I just think he he's in lack of confidence. Imagine if he gets back in his top form. <sighs> yeah, but... We keep doing this, don't we? Signing players saying, imagine, imagine. But what about if we actually get some players who are in form, top players? Um, Phil Coy said, you don't need a plan B if you replace the average players with quality. It's as simple as that. You, yeah, you, you Listen, I don't disagree, but if you haven't got the quality, then you do need to, to adapt, right? It, I, I don't know. It's, I agree and I disagree all at the same time. Big up to you, Phil. Hope you're well, my friend. Uh, Smudger has said, Man United getting fifth. We're getting sixth. Be grateful. This is Angie's first season. This continues into next summer, this style, with more Deadwood going and more quality brought in. Um, I, I, as much as I already said, beginning of the show, beginning of the season, I expect that's where we're going to be. Um, I, I, I haven't changed my mind. Can we get fourth? Yes. Will we? I, I don't know. Spurs are very erratic. You don't know which Spurs you're going to get at the moment. Um Adrian has said, to see Levy's true intentions when he's finished outside of the European places, then we will see if he really backs the manager. Yeah, I, I don't think we are going to finish outside European places, my friend. I really, really don't. Um, Rafa has said Tottenham will get hum humiliated in the new eight-game Champions League if they somehow qualify on current form. Well, listen, if we get into the Champions League again, it, I mean, how many years have we said this when we've got Champions League football? We go into that summer and we always say, right, come on, Levy, you've got to back the manager with Champions League quality players. We don't, and then people will find a way to excuse it. Um, but you're right, we, we've got to. If you get into the Champions League, can you imagine this squad that is struggling to play once a week at this tempo? Can you imagine that we're now playing Champions League football as well and maybe a League Cup or FA Cup run? Yes, uh, madness. Uh, Ratish has said, big up, Sava. Yesterday's result was damaging. and Some fans, Spurs fans need to stop getting too reactionary because we will go through blips. Yeah, of course we're going to go through blips. Of course we are. That's why I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm not angry. I'm not angry by it. I think this is what we said was going to happen at the beginning of the season. Unfortunately, that ten games at the beginning of the season, Ratish, as I said, has kind of made people think that we're better than we are. Um, um, Levy with a bevy has said, "Who does this Ange guy think he is?" Saying, "I'm not a magician. No, you're not a magician. You're a football coach. Do some coaching, so we don't look like we've been coached for months." Strong words there from Levy with uh, Bevy. Um, proud to be a Geordie. I said, if you perfect a plan A, do you actually need a plan B? Well, I, I, listen, you've got to have things up your sleeve. That's what I would say. Uh, um, Ange Boer said, unfortunately, unfortunate fact of the matter is that Basuma, Bentacor and Matters still aren't fully match fit yet. Add that to the so and that's why we're coming up short. I, I don't. I don't know. I feel like we make a lot of excuses. These players have been back a long time now. These players have been back a long time. Uh, uh, Smudger said, Sav, are you a Spurs fan? Uh, Sav, are you a Spurs fan? No, no. And expect results if we go 1-0, 2-0 to the deficit by changing to plan B and bring on Hoiberg and Skip. Uh, whoa, I don't, Smudger, I don't think you're listening to a thing I've said. I've, I've, where have I said that? Whoa, Smudger, relax. I think if you actually listen to what I've been saying, I, I'm not angry. I think, I think this was going to happen. We need time. We need to clear out the deadwood like the Skips and the Hoibergs. I think you've come in here a bit hot, mate, without actually listening to anything that's being said. Um, yes, 
I would. Absolutely. Um, Stack Row has said, yeah, agreed. Simple. Need more quality. That's all it is. Quality. 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 Big up, Kate. Good. Glad you're well. Uh, really glad you're well. Kate's one of the good ones. Please get over there and subscribe to Just a Girl Who Loves Spurs. Uh, DP has said, we were found out after 10 games. Hopefully, Ange learns that you have to adapt in the Premier League and can't play, a, can't play plan A regardless. You know what? I don't... Maybe the term plan B isn't right, but I think it's just tweaking and adapting a bit, isn't it? Um, I think it's just tweaking and adapting for me. I think that's what it is. I think sometimes in games like yesterday, everybody was forward for, for free kicks and corners and stuff, and we get caught out and they score. Um, little things like that maybe need a little bit of looking at. Um Ian said, so what's our chance of getting Pedro Neto this summer? I don't know. I think that I think he's going to have a lot of suitors. Again, you're going to have the injuries that are thrown at him. Um, but I think he's going to have a lot of suitors. Really good winger that causes problems week in, week out. Um, hey, uh, that, that's just me. Um, Ange Boar said, sad to say it, but I think Villa just have the edge when you compare the two squads. I, I, I don't think there's a lot in it, but... Listen, I, I, as I said at the beginning of the season, I like, I think what Villa have done, Villa for me have bought more men, if that makes sense. Villa have, when you look in their midfield, the likes of McGinn, who's a bit of a warrior, so is Douglas Luiz, so is Kamara. You know, they've got, they've got some warriors in there. They've got some old steady heads at the back, players like Pau Torres and Diego Carlos, you know, um, Luca Digne. Um, so, Listen, for me, I think they're a good team. I think it's going to be neck and neck between Spurs and Villa between now and the end of the season, unless one of the two teams can go on a massive, massive run. Um, Spurs forever. I said, just play one inverted fullback. Then you have three at the back to cover and two in midfield also, possibly. Um, Vindaloo, I think we'll beat Palace. We've got, we've got to. We've got to beat Crystal Palace at home. There can be no... Um, there can be no excuses for not beating Crystal Palace. I don't care who's injured, who's not. No excuse for me. Um, what blame for the situation, players or managers? Or both? I, I don't think there's a lot to blame anywhere. I just think at the moment we lost one game in, in five or six. I, I, I don't think there's a huge problem for me. Um, what I do think is that what we're seeing is teams are working out how to get at us. That is something that the, that the manager needs to get on top of. That's natural. We've said that's going to happen. We said that from pre-season. When you watch the high line, you're going to get caught out a lot. Um, hey, um, I, who do you blame, Stuart? I mean, I don't think there's any blame that really needs to go around, but um, let me know. Uh, uh, better defenders than Everton, but letting more goals. I think, look, Everton, what I would say about them, let's have a look. So Everton have conceded 20, uh, 32 goals. Everton have conceded 32. Um, and we've conceded 38. Um, what I would say, what I would say about Everton is, uh, obviously they don't play that kind of expansive game, but what they are, they're a well-drilled defensive unit. And that's what you've got from their manager, Right. Um, the difference for me is people like Bramthwaite and Tarkowski live to defend. They don't live to get on the ball, to bring it out. They live to defend, throwing their bodies on the line, winning headers, having the battle, having the fight. Um, so um, for me, um, look, yeah, but it isn't good. I don't think we're as good at the back as people think we are. Um Howling Mad Murdoch, big up to you, Howling, and said the quality of the football since the Chelsea defeat has been absolutely dreadful. Sloppy passing, amateurish defending at times, giving the ball away, not good enough, wide play and up front. I can't, I, I can't disagree with you. I think we, look, what I would say is I think we play well in patches. I think Tottenham are a team that play well in patches in games. But there is this notion, like when I was speaking to Mo the other day, and Mo was telling me, oh, Spurs are brilliant to watch every game. It was like, mm, we're not. We play well in patches. Um, Super Tottenham TV has said, no excuses. We have no European football, no FA Cup and no League Cup. And they still lost games and played poorly like that. Goes to show me that most of our players are bang average. Um so, hey, it is it, it, it is what it is. Uh, Paul Nova has said, get rid of Richarlison, Werner, Davis, 
skip replacing them with quality yeah listen i could chuck uh, i could chuck some other players into there as well you've got a for me emerson royale ryan sessignon i think there is uh, you know joe roden will need to go uh tanganga needs to go um you know la celso for me needs to go and don Bele needs to go um a couple of the goalkeepers um Hey, it is what it is. Uh, Tapiwa said should have cashed in on Emerson. Yeah, I, I, I would have. I, I, yeah, I absolutely would have. Um, Tony in AC, good morning to you, my friend, has said, can't believe Dragusin didn't start. Why? Every manager has a honeymoon period. Now it's over. We play possession football with no end product. Does, does Ange have a plan B? Look, the, the whole plan B question is quite dividing, isn't it? Because some people just say, yes, uh, we need a plan B. Others say, no, you don't just need more quality. I think, as always, it probably lies in the middle. It probably lies in the middle. Um, the Chelsea game is postponed because Chelsea are playing in the cup final next week. That's why the Chelsea game is postponed. Chelsea got to another final and they're in that. Um, Levy. Um, uh, I don't know what that means, but OK. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Big up to Warren. Uh, very, very generous super chat. Thank you so much for the super chat. If anyone else would like to, please feel free. It always does help. I said, Guna fan here. Love your honest, calm and realistic perspectives. I'm not always calm. Um, if you believe Ange can improve your team, then give him three, four seasons, same as Arteta. Allow him three to four transfer windows to build a solid squad and identity. Look... Warren, look, first of all, thank you for the super chat. One of the things we said, um, I, I say we, I'm talking about the channel. Like one of the things I said at the beginning of the season was this isn't a quick fix. Tottenham Hotspur was never a quick fix. It was a club that didn't really have an ethos, didn't have a plan, didn't have a strategy. Um, we, we've just got a brand new manager, brand new directors of football, brand new scouts, new players. Um, we've got a new number one in goal. You know, we've lost Harry Kane. Um, new captain. For me, this was never going to be a quick fix. I don't think it's all doom and gloom. I think we're 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 a, we're a good team. We're a decent team. I just think people think pe people. Ange ball is one of the worst things that people could have said and done. Ange ball. We've got Ange ball. It's like they're putting the pressure on that every game we're going to batter teams, and I just don't think. Um, I just don't think we've got the quality to carry out what Ange wants, if I'm brutally honest. And that's the same of most managers. Listen, whilst I didn't like Conte, if you're going to hire a Conte, if you're going to hire a Jose, you've got to back them with the quality of players they need. If you don't, it is pointless employing them. Now, that's not to say I liked their style of play. I didn't. Everyone knows I didn't. But whatever manager you get in, the, 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 the style of play is just fan preference, right? So thank you for this, Warren. But the style of play for me is fan preference. So for me, I will like a different style of play to what Rob would like, to what get the fraud I'll take out my club likes, to what Proud to be a Geordie, to what Tony, to what Brandon. We all probably have different versions of, 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 of tactics that we like to watch. But whichever manager you bring in, you've got to give him the tools to play that tactic. Now, Postacoglu's got a very specific way of playing, which requires everybody to be comfortable and brave on the ball. Now, to be comfortable and brave on the ball, you have to have quality footwork. You know, you've got to have quality in your feet. City can do it for fun. Every single player at Man City is comfortable receiving the ball with two or three players around them because they're all move the ball quickly. They've all got a brilliant first touch, brilliant movement, options off the ball. We're not that team yet. To be that team, you've got to add quality. And if we don't add the quality, I'm afraid this is just going to be the same thing over and over again. Um, so hopefully that answers that question. Um, Fort Richarlison was atrocious yesterday. More reason to get an upgrade. Some of our fans bigging him up when he has the first touch of... Uh, a bit harsh, that last bit. But look, uh, I, I, he's not for me. Um, I think he's always going to be a purple patch player. I think he's going to go through spells where he gets a few tap-ins or scores a blinder. But for me, I think you need better up front. You just need much better. Um, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get to... Uh, uh, Levy of a bevy. I say strong words. Yes, mate. Listen, I'm not knocking it. You say whatever you like, mate. Freedom of speech. Uh, because I've seen nothing from Ange that suggests he's an elite coach. He talks a great game and is a likeable guy. But that's it. May as well get Ari. Um... So, yeah, strong words. What do people think of that? Let me know. Um, 
Ange Bourne said, I couldn't agree more. Need more quality. But this is Spurs and you have to be realistic. We just don't speculate to accumulate. Otherwise, we would have gone hard in January. But the thing is, Ange Bourne, this is, this is the thing. If fans know that, then why do they talk about winning leagues? Why do they talk about what we're going to achieve? Look, for me, we need to be realistic. But I look at West Ham by Mohamed Kudos. Why can't we? We're a bigger club than West Ham. Why couldn't we get Mohamed Kudos? Chelsea got Cole Palmer. Why couldn't we get a Cole Palmer? Both better than what we bought in the wide areas. Anthony Gordon went to Newcastle. We've had better years than Newcastle. Why? You know, so for me, um, yeah, I, I agree with you. We have to be realistic. But I, I don't think anyone's talking about going to get the Mbappes and the Harlands and those sort of players. Uh um, Kate said, Sava read that Bramthwaite will be a hundred million, the same as Neto. Um, listen, I can only imagine that Everton are not going to sell him cheaply. Yeah, good, good player. Uh, I think he's come on a lot as Bramthwaite. Uh, Alfie said, people are forgetting Potch didn't have a great first season. Give Ange till the end of next season and then decide whether he's the best. So, yeah, listen, I don't think, listen, what I will say, I've seen a few people saying Ange out, and that's not, that's just silly. That needs to stop. Yeah, it's not Ange out. Come on, let, let's stop. I'll tell you what else is nonsense, that we've got 395 people in here and only 166 likes. Smash that like button, people. It is free. And if anyone hasn't subscribed, please do. We're chasing down 13,200. The link is pinned in the chat. And I've just posted it again right now at 12, three minutes past 12 on Sunday afternoon at UK time. That's what time you'll see it in the chat. And it will say the word featured at the bottom. So if you've liked the show, if you've liked the content, um, uh, bu, 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 bu. get the fraud Arteta out of my club big up to you my friend said all you Tottenham fans you said Romero is better than Saliba where's your elite defender now Um, look you know my feelings on this I, I think Saliba is a better defender but that's just me that's just me Um, Paul Nova said Poch winning silverware next week can you imagine can you imagine I mean you would make Liverpool favourites but I, if, if Potts won silverware with, with, with Chelsea in his first year when they're not doing that great, it would just be Spursy, wouldn't it? It really, really would. Um, uh, Samuel Ingram has said, Ineos and Sir Jim Ratcliffe will want to do a selling spree at Manchester United. I think I think they're going to completely mix up how they do things with Sir Jim in there. So it's a, a team to definitely watch. Um, uh Angeball said, we know we need cover at left back and we are still in desperate need of a real class striker. And Richie isn't it. Watch how his goal, goals drop now. He always scores his goals in clusters and then nothing. Yeah, that, again, that's form versus norm, right? Form versus norm is my new saying. And big up to the three people that just subscribed. That's very, very kind of you. Um, uh, Kilippo said, hypothetically, if Conte, if Conte coached against Ange with our identical squad, who would win? They both play their ideal formation and tactics. I think Ange would struggle to break down Conte's low block. <laughs> that would be the difference. And Ange, the, the problem you've got is Conte would just counter. He would just counterattack against the 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 all out football from from Ange. It would it would it would be um, it would be very interesting to watch. But I think we know what would happen. Um, uh, John Burner said two toothless up front. Nobody's controlling midfield and a totally overrated defence. Need to buy some quality. Come on, you Spurs. Um, Kate has said, Sava, we need quality in as well as youngsters, but we'll leave you pay for quality. Well, look, the, 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 what I would say is, um, what I would say is this, is we spent money in the summer. We spent 50 million on Brennan Johnson. That could have got you some quality. That could have got you a Mohamed Kudos. That could have got you a Diaby, a Kudos. A Palmer. So it is there. We can pay for it, but we just seem to go for, I don't know. I don't know. We just seem to go for that next level down. Um, uh, Perhaps we Jordan said, why do a lot of Spurs fans want attractive football over winning trophies? I, I think that the, the thing is, when people have this argument, it's not like the unattractive football was winning trophies. Let's be brutally honest. And I think a lot of people are in the camp of, well, if we're not winning trophies, at least let us watch some football. For me, I want both. For me, I, I, I want both. I don't see many teams that play bad football that win things. Um, but that's just me. Um, video complete. Sofiane has said Romero is not better than Saliba. No 
chance. Um, it, I, I think it just comes down to personal preference. For me, I prefer Saliba. I think he's more. I think. I think uh, for me, he's more calm, collected. He's he, for me, he's better. Um, Phil Moss has said, "Ange is a robot on the touchline." A lot of people giving him stick for this. Um, let me know in the chat. What do you guys think? Um, there you go. Uh, Ange out, Pepin, Standards FC. Big up, Luke. Um, uh, to, 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 to Daniela Stewart has said, every team needs a plan B and C. And Kate has said, get the likes done and subscribe to the lovely Sava. Thank you very much. And Tony has backed that sentiment as well. Come on, guys, we should be on 250 likes. We're on 187. Uh, but big up to each and every one of you that has liked and has subscribed. Uh, Daryl, uh, uh, I said, Palace will have the new manager syndrome. That game just got harder. Um, I still think we've got it. There can be no excuse. Do you agree with me, Daryl? We can't have an excuse. They've got to win this game. Spurs have got to win this game. I think the, you know, when we looked three games ago and we said we've got Everton away, followed by uh, Wolves at home and Brighton at home, everyone said nine points, seven minimum. And we've ended up with four I mean, it's, it's you know, we've got to win the next game. We've really, really got to win the next game. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Good afternoon, LFC Aaron. How you doing, my friend? I hope you are well. Um, he has said, I think Man will win today, unfortunately. Well, look, Luton are not an easy team at home, but Man United have uh, won their last three. They've won their last three. They are starting to show a bit of form, Man United. So you wouldn't put it past them. Uh, and it would put them only three points behind Spurs with a, a an inferior goal difference, but the points would be there on the table. Um, Connor has gone completely the other way and said Ange just isn't a good manager. I think that's harsh. I think he's a good manager. I just do think that everyone's gone a little bit overboard, but he's a good manager. Um, Warren has said, Son, Madison, Richie, Basuma, Vicario, Adogi, Kulu, uh, Romero, Werner. Nine solid quality players, three to four windows, 500 million transfer investment, eight plus new players, two more seasons of Ange drilling, scary opponent. Warren, I, listen, I, I don't disagree with you, my friend. I, 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 I Listen, I don't disagree with, with, with the notion. Um, I think like myself, like many Spurs fans, my only query is, will we buy in the quality? That's the problem that we, we always worry about. Will we buy in the quality to take us that next level? Uh, but big up to you. Thank you. It's very generous this morning. Thank you so much, Warren. Really do appreciate that. Um, I, I, honestly, it does. It means a lot to me when people put in super chats. So thank you very, very much. Um, uh, video complete. Sofiane says Saliba VDV would work so well. I, I think it would actually. I like Saliba. I think he's a top defender. I really do. I really do. Who has said Ange needs to learn to adapt and have a plan B? or he's going to fall on his own sword. Well, look, let's have a look then, shall we? We did a, a poll, um, which was, do Spurs need a plan B? There was 328 votes. 74% have said yes, and 26% have said no. So 26% think we don't need a plan B. Um, I don't know the answer to this question. I don't think so, but I think it's happening now, right? Um I don't know. I don't think Elise is. I don't know. Those two are always 50-50 whether they play or not, aren't they? Um, uh, that guy has said a high line for life. <laughs> yeah. Um, Revenite has said, Sarah, did you see Nunez's chip yesterday? Yeah, lovely finish. I, 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 I like Nunez. I do. He's erratic in front of goal, but I think he's a pain in the backside. Uh, I think he's a good player. I really, really do. I, I know I get pulled apart for that, but... Um, I think he causes problems, he causes problems for defences. Um, Raven Madness has said, who is scouting the players? Perhaps those individuals need to up their game. Yeah, quite possibly, quite possibly. Um, big up Killian who is saying, hi, Savvy. I'm saying good morning and goodbye. Good morning, goodbye to you as well. Thank you for stopping by. Um, Luke has said, and his plan B is to do plan A better. Yeah, I, I get it. But to do plan A better, you've got to have more quality. Um, for me, I think we're wasting money. Um, but hey, it's up, uh, you know, it's up to it's up to Ange and his coaching team and his scouts to do that. Um, Brandon has said Conte ball was the lowest of the low. I was waking up at two to three a.m. to see my team lose at home, having one shot every five years. <laughs> 
yeah, it, it, it was hard to watch. But look, as I said, I didn't like it. But if you're going to bring in a manager, whatever style they play, back them with the quality to play it. You know, you're bringing in Jose Mourinho and giving him Joe Roden at centre half, right? You know, that, that that sums it up, doesn't it? You're bringing in Jose Mourinho, you're giving him Carlos Vinicius, Joe Hart, Joe Roden, um, Gedson Fernandez. You know, you're, you're giving Antonio Conte people like Jed Spence. You know, you've got to, you, you've got to, you've got to give these players quality players, or they're not going to do what they've done at other clubs. It's just basic. Um, yeah, a big up, you know, six, seven. Yeah, you would have put your house on him scoring that one, wouldn't you? But uh, yeah, he missed it. Um, uh, anyway, guys, girls, I am off to a two year old's birthday party. Uh, so, um, I, I need to go. Uh, listen, um, I don't think, as I said, let's round this off. I don't think it's a big drama. I just think we've got to relax. I think that we've got to buy better quality players. I think we've got to stop praising average signings and thinking they're all going to come good. And I think we need to see what we do in the next, in, in the summer window. We say that every year, but this year he's really, really got to up the game. We've got to add some European quality players. Um, just quickly, Sava, who would you pick? Neto, Rafinha or Nico Williams? I would go with Neto, followed by Nico Williams, followed by Rafinha, Tony. Big up to you. Um, guys, girls, do need to go. Much love. Take care. And as always, come on, you Spurs. I'll be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Join me then. Take care, everyone. See you later.